Juan Oliveras is the new president at Aquinas College. The former Grand Rapids Community College president is well known to many in the community. Three other private colleges in West Michigan are still looking for new leaders. 24 Hour News 8's Tony Taliavia live in studio now with why that turnover is happening nationwide and what it could mean for West Michigan colleges. Tony. Brian and Sue, a national group of private colleges and universities report seeing turnaround across the country as baby boomer presidents retire. This is an incredible place, uh, Aquinas College, and I am privileged to be its uh, seventh president. At Aquinas, Juan Oliveras is replacing retiring 66-year-old president Edward Baylog. Well, I think Aquinas right now celebrating 125 years is a great time to reintroduce the college to the community. We've been here a long time. I think in some ways we're taken for granted here. And uh, with the reintroduction, I think we can talk about Aquinas and the value that it brings to this community. Three other West Michigan private college presidents are retiring after next school year. 63-year-old Calvin College President Galen Baker is retiring. 69-year-old Hope College President James Boltman is retiring. Kendall College of Art and Design President Oliver Evans is retiring too. A nationwide survey found the average age of American college and university presidents has jumped dramatically. In 1986, the American Council on Education survey found just 14% of presidents were 61 or older. By 2006, that figure jumped to 49%. This retirement wave is affecting colleges and universities across the nation. Tony Pauls at the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities says that wave of retirements could extend the length of time it takes for colleges to find new leaders. What it means for colleges is that they will still be able to find highly qualified presidents, but that the applicant pool will be smaller. An American Council on Education official says she thinks those impacts could be felt even among colleges with small pools of candidates to begin with, such as those tied to smaller religious denominations. We will be staying in touch with these local colleges as the searches continue. Sue? Tony, thank you.